What is up everybody, Azariel here, and welcome to another ADS Play uploading schedule for the week of September 4th to September the 10th. Man, oh, what a past week this has been. I mean, this has been an up and down roller coaster ride. Um, uh, I went to San Francisco Comic Con for sure. Um, it was kind of like a last minute decision because I know I made a big announcement that I wasn't going to be able to go, but something happened, and turns out that I, you know, I made a, like a last minute decision to um, to go due to something else happening. You know, it's just like a, a, it was a lot of last minute decision making <laughs> because this happened. I decided, you know, because, because this happened, I couldn't go made up my mind that I wasn't going to go, but then something else happened, and I said, well, since this isn't happening, I might as well go anyway. And it's just uh, something that I'm going to explain later on in another video that I have yet to upload. Um, right now, I'm trying to get several uh, things um, uploaded. Hold on one second. And, um... Yeah, man, I'm trying to get several things uploaded uh, through my Instagram, which I'm going to show you guys. A lot of you guys didn't know that I had an Instagram, but I'm going to show you uh, what my Instagram is and everything so that you can follow me on there and see all the updates that I'm doing. And once I get through with those, then I'm going to upload the videos, you know, from the con. It was like a bunch of random videos. I didn't get to take as much time recording what I wanted to due to the fact that I had injured my leg a day prior um, and it's still kind of swollen I'm still walking with a limp it still hurts uh, I gotta be careful what I do it's you know it, it's a it's a pain between me going to that you know me having a um, call out for work and you know because I called out I decided you know well since I'm already out might as well go that way I can move at my own pace instead of me doing a bunch of heavy lifting you're adding more pressure to a, you know a hurt leg already you know and I couldn't even enjoy most of the con anyway because I was like you know it was like six floors and I was too busy like you know sitting down trying to, to gain some type of strength in my leg to where I can like move around a little bit it was a hassle man but just know it was you know I did have fun I got a lot of pictures of a lot of cosplayers um most of which were Harley Quinns and Jokers, as most of you may have already suspected. Uh, but yeah, it was that, and um, it was some pretty cool ones. I've seen a lot of Winter Soldiers, I've seen a, a ton of Deadpools. It was a couple that I never got a chance to get, uh, which I'm going to speak about in you know, the videos when I get them. Uh, but just to touch on them a little bit, I'm going in more into detail. About it. Uh, it, was like, it was like a Ronald McDonald, um, it was like a Ronald McDonald, uh, Thor. Imagine Thor in like Ronald McDonald colors. That's basically what the guy was. It, it, it was pretty cool, it was pretty cool fusion. I seen a Luke Kane, I seen a, from Mortal Kombat, I seen, uh, a bunch of characters. I seen like a Super Saiyan Vegeta and like his regular Saiyan art. There was a lot of good cosplays that I couldn't get because I was recording um, the, the exhibition thinking that was the only floor there and I, you know, it, it was just a big mess. But nevertheless, man, uh, let's get started with this. I'm already three minutes in and I didn't even get to talking about the stuff I wanted to talk about yet. So first, let's talk about the, uh, the games that, that I have going on. So right now, um, I have, I just switched over from my YouTube channel. Um, I have Attack on Titan. It is currently on its way to me. Uh, I didn't check to see if I already had it, but it's, as far as I know, it's currently on its way. Due to, you know, Labor Day and, you know, me having to wait. So I'm going to say that I may get Attack on Titan on Tuesday, knowing it's with it being a Labor Day weekend and, you know, Labor Day is tomorrow. Um, I have to, you know, just be patient and wait on it uh, for that. Uh, Star Ocean. I am, you know, still playing that. Deus Ex. I'm playing that, that game as well. Most of you know that I'm playing God Eater 2. And I started God Eater 1, but I only did like seven videos of that because God Eater 2 kind of been like, you know, pulling me in. 
and I've been enjoying the hell out of that game. But I definitely, I'm playing more Star. I'm gonna upload more Star Ocean tomorrow um, after I get off of work. Uh, so just expect to see more Star Ocean because I definitely miss that game and I need to uh, get back into it. Um, not only that, but more deals X Mankind. Like I'm gonna take a break from God here too for a while. Um, there's no games coming in between yay and nay that's going to make me hurry up and like, you know, nothing that's going to make me feel the need to hurry up and rush to play, you know, whatever. Um, so, def so definitely, I'm, uh, I'm trying to, um, enjoy the games as much as I can before I send them back because obviously that's the goal anyway and of course beat them um but God Eater 2 it's getting like you know it's turning out to be longer than I expected but I'm still having fun with it so Attack on Titan is gonna always is gonna get added to the list of games that I'm already playing I didn't even get I didn't even get a chance to play Dust in a listening tale that's on the back burner until I can, you know, get some time to play it. Um, they got XCOM 2 coming out later on this month, so I gotta, you know, finish one of these games. i uh, hopefully Star Ocean by the 27th of this month, but I can send that back because that game should have been back. Um, I ended up beating Fairy Fencer F, Dark Advent Dark Force before I, um, before I, you know, beat Star Ocean, and I got. Fairy Fencer F after, way after I got Star Ocean. So, it was a fun game though, so I like it. Um, so these are all the games that I have going on right now. Now, for the for those who have been wondering, hey, where's the Yu-Gi-Oh! channel? Where's the Yu-Gi-Oh! channel? Is the Yu-Gi-Oh! channel up yet? I am finally ready to announce to you guys, yes, the Yu-Gi-Oh! channel is up and running. Uh, I'm going to show it to you right now. But right here. The Yu-Gi-Oh! channel is right here, and it is up and running. It's not an official launch of the Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTube channel. I don't have a channel trailer. My artwork is still, like, you know, I'm still waiting on some people to do artwork for me. Um, I'm trying to get this real spruced up and nice because what I plan on doing with this channel is something I couldn't do with my ABS Play 101 channel. The name of this channel is going to be when Google finally decides to officially, you know, do the name change because it told me it was going to take some time before I actually see it. Um, the name change is going to be ABS Play Cards. You know, it's going to be called ABS Play Cards. This is going to be the Yu Gi Oh! channel. Now, the reason why I decided to call it ABS Play Cards instead of Yu Gi Oh! 101 is Yu Gi Oh! 101 is the series that is on the channel, not necessarily the channel, you know, itself. So, but everything will still be called Yu-Gi-Oh! 101, the same as it was on the ABS Play 101. So you guys are going to get updates on everything as far as, um, you know, the new cards that are coming out, the new booster packs coming out. I'm still trying to catch up on a lot of things to really get, like, a good bunch of, you know, like a good bunch of videos um, together before I make the decision to, uh, you know, go along with certain things. But most definitely, this is what um, this is what I'm trying to do with this channel. So, this is going to be the name of ADS. You know, ADS Play Cards is going to be the name of it. I'm, I'm assuming you guys can just look it up as it is right now, or you can just search the one video I have uploaded. You know, you see it right there, um, and it'll take you straight to the channel. So, if you're interested in the Yu-Gi-Oh content that used to be on ADS Play 101, uh, it, it is moved to its own channel. Though it is not an official launch yet, I will be making a channel trailer and hopefully getting the artwork in time so that I can have that on the back backdrop. Um, I'm going to connect all my uh, my Facebook, my um, my Twitter, and everything. And you know, you guys are going to be up to date on everything as is, and I'm going to update you guys as I go along with making this channel into something that you guys will be proud of. Um, so there you go. The Yu-Gi-Oh! channel is finally launched. Launch. The first video is already up. It's about the ban list. So if you're interested in the Yu-Gi-Oh! content that I used to put on my ADS Play 101 channel, it is moved to this channel. So, you know, 
phone. So look it up. If you can't find it, just look up the video and you'll be able to find it. Boom. Problem solved. So now that we got that out the way, <laughs> uh, let me click on my Instagram because I want you guys to see this. Now, my Instagram is just ADSK101. Feel free to follow me on there. I post a lot of cool stuff on there. And these are just like pictures that I had from the uh, San Francisco Comic Con. Um, this is down in the exhibition area where most of the, the, uh, the cop cosplays I've seen were, were and um, I, uh, yeah, I enjoyed the hell out of this. I uploaded so many cosplays. It was Jean Grey. This kid was a cool joker, Jared Little. A cool Jared Little. Let's see, Dante from Dove May Cry. A dancing dinosaur that was hitting the dam. Bucky. Um, a couple actually played, uh, they actually cosplayed Army of Two. You know, they actually did the cosplay of that. Uh, it was so many Harley Quinns there from the Suicide Squad movie and one from the, the comic book. There was even a baby cacker out there. She was cute. She was adorable. It was funny because she was actually drinking juice. And when I first asked if I could take a picture of her, she was like, uh uh, she didn't want to take a picture because she was like, too busy drinking the juice. And as soon as she got done, she was like, okay, I'm ready. And she just, you know, she hit a Tommy Ami Ha blasted me away. Uh, and that's another picture of her. She was cute though. I liked it. Uh, and you know, you guys can come to the to just look at you know ADS Play 101. This isn't even half, you know. I still have I, I like a easily like a good like 20, 28, probably, possibly even 30 like videos to up uh, pictures to upload to this of cosplayers from the con from the convention. So keep an eye on that and you know, feel free to follow me on there. I'm not hard to find, I mean, it's right there, literally. ABS Play 101. Um, so yeah, man, that's pretty much everything in a nutshell. Uh, was it, I know I didn't do a a um a channel update last week. Um, I, for whatever reason, it just skipped my mind. I didn't intentionally do it because um, I wanted to update you guys about the channel then. Um, but nevertheless, oh, and one more thing about the Yu-Gi-Oh channel. Please understand that the, this Yu-Gi-Oh channel, Yu-Gi-Oh YouTube channel, is still in development. Um, a lot of you guys may remember that I did a, a few events, a few weekly events called the ADS, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh 101 Candy events. Those are put on hold until further notice. As of right now, all I'm trying to do for this channel is catch up with the game. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to catch up with the game as far as like information before I dive into like the the card game again you know dueling network is still down Yu-Gi-Oh Pro is I heard that it was back up um I have not you know tried to upload it or like update Yu-Gi-Oh Pro uh on my end I've just been uh you know just been taking this um Yu-Gi-Oh channel one step at a time so it's not ready or uh, although I'm not ready for um you know to put the fan days back into my schedule just yet because you know everything's so crazy right now between this and work and, you know everything there, there would be no way to really gauge when I will be able to do it on a consistent basis like I was doing on Yu-Gi-Oh on a on ADS Play 101 so it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be a while before I get you know started with the fan day events right now. Uh, before I get started with the fan day events again, as of right now, the only thing I am doing on this channel there are like the discussion videos, the tips videos, the card review videos, the archetype review videos. You know, basically everything you do related that I did on ADS Play 101. Now some of you may be wondering. Or asking, what am I going to do with the playlists that are on the channel already? Um, all the Yu-Gi-Oh playlists that are already on the channel. Here's what I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I am not going to delete them from YouTube. I'm not deleting them from YouTube or anything like that. Um, I don't know if I want to keep... I'm Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove them off of the channel however you can still search them 
you can still search the uh, the playlist on YouTube. You know, you can still search them and you can still look at everything. They're, they're still going to be on YouTube. You guys have no, uh, you know, nothing to worry about as far as if you don't see them anymore. It's still going to be, you know, on YouTube. You're just going to have to do a manual search for them because I'm trying to make ADS Play 101 a gaming channel. You know, and, you know, every time, and I used to like mix the, the video, the, the Yu-Gi-Oh content on here, it just became too much for one channel. Hence the reason why I moved it to its own channel. So that's basically what that is. So that's everything, man. Just wanted to get a, a, an update to you guys on that. Um, you know, last but not least, I want to tell you that I'm, I plan on doing, you know, video game reviews before the end of the year. I'm trying to, I've kind of failed miserably at trying to work that into my schedule because everything else is happening. But I'm trying to get into a good setting to where I can review a video game and, you know, not get disturbed because it's kind of, you know, it's kind of hard to do that. Um, with the house being so noisy and then you got nosy people who, when you're doing something like that, and you're trying to focus on what you're saying, you have people just randomly coming into the room and things like that. And you guys already know about the room situation. I've spoken on it countless times. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. You know, thank God that I was, or thank whoever, you know, God or universe or time, or, you know, just be thankful that I got, you know, these, uh, these Turtle Beach Elite headsets, these Elite 800s, to where I can at least cancel out the background noise. Like, you guys don't hear none of the things that you used to hear in the old headset with, you know, the background noise, people being loud, laughing, and if I would have to turn my mic off you know, during the commentary, just so that you guys can hear me, because they were being so loud, and, you know, it was happening so much, I just had to, this is my solution for that, until, you know, uh, further notice, so at the very least, with the Yu-Gi-Oh content, you ain't got to worry about hearing a lot of background noise, and my, you don't have to worry about hearing that in my commentary, or, or anything like that, so, you guys definitely are in a good spot, so, Thank you guys for watching, man. Peace. Um, and I will see you guys for gameplay this week. Until then, later.